Hi guys. Hi. We are uploading. Oh my god, I look crazy. We are uploading Vlogmas Day 8 right now. And Tori was like, how come I'm not in the videos? And I was like, because I'm not with you. So I'm going to take this chance to have her in a video. And Tori's in this. Today we are uploading Day 8 right now. And we are watching Aspen and Parker when they came to BAMP because... It's kind of cool that we had YouTubers that we watch in our kind of area of the woods, neck of the woods. Um, so I'm watching that. And yeah. And I'm wearing my new sweater that you've seen yesterday. So feel how soft it is. It's so soft. It's my Christmas sweater. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so we'll catch in, we'll catch in, we'll catch up with you guys later. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I am just going to be heading to bed soon. So I'm going to show you guys my, like, makeup removing slash cleansing my face, um, when I do at nighttime before bed. So let's get into it and yeah, so... Let's go. Then I go in with my Mary Kay cleansing brush. Um with my 3-in-1 cleanser. I wet my brush. I normally just like wet my brush. And then I put the cleanser on top, just about that much. Then I put more water on it. Then I go. Then after I go in with my eye makeup remover with my cotton rounds and uh, I just go in and get the extra makeup off. I just put some on a cotton round, just a little bit. Then I go over my eyes and I go under and in my eyebrows. It takes pretty much anything extra off. And I have to get as much mascara off right now. I'll probably go over it again in the morning just because I'm getting my extensions on tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that is my makeup removing slash skincare routine for before bed. I just thought I'd put... I just thought I'd put that in this vlog so you guys could see... And yeah, so I'm going to head to bed because I have to be up at 7, well like 6.50. Um, my appointment's at 7.30 in the morning, so yeah. Hi guys, it's me again. The days are just flying by crazily. I am currently driving to Jared's right now. We're just going to hang out all day and just go for lunch, I think. Um, I got my lashes done this morning, so I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like. I didn't film the procedure just because, like, I didn't have my tripod, but here's what they look like. And they're so cute. Excuse my face. I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, just because I don't think that I need to be wearing makeup when I'm going to Jared's house, so not necessary. But yeah, we're, we're, I'm just driving there right now, and... Yeah, I might film some there. He's kind of awkward around the camera, so I might not. I still can't believe that like my lashes are like on my face. Like they look so good. Um, I will link the girl's 
Instagram down below that did my lashes and I'm so happy with them. They're so beautiful. Ah! So yeah, I will link all of her information down below. Um, so you guys can like, if you live in my, in the area, like in the Calgary area, you can go get your lashes done by her. She's so amazing. Her name's Shayla and she's so funny and she's so nice and she's so super super cool and she was so fast like I got these done my appointment was for 7 30 and I got there at 7 30 and then we probably started around like 7 45 and I was done by like 9 05 or like 9 15 so like that was super fast like she was telling me it was gonna be two hours or something and then here we are like an hour and a half later and they look beautiful I'm so excited I go for my fill on the 30th it's like right before New Year's and she said that they were gonna last like look really good for Christmas so I'm excited about that I'm excited for Christmas and my new lashes Hey guys, it's Meg. Oh man. And uh, today, I am not filming an explanation, but I am filming a sorry that we didn't upload the last two days. It is Monday and we didn't upload Saturday or Sunday. Um, I got to my boyfriend's house and realized I didn't have my computer and I didn't have any of my stuff to edit, so. We're gonna try and make this one a little bit longer than usual. Um, I actually have two topics to talk about. Maybe not two topics, maybe one. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but I would like to talk to you. I would like to talk to you about my eyelash extensions. Here they are. I showed you them the day I got them on the way to Jared's house. And then I am just talking about them now. Um, so. I would like to talk about my eyelash extensions and my thoughts about the process and stuff like that. So, we're going to get into this. And yeah, I hope this video is something something entertaining. Not really. It's just going to be me talking about my eyelashes, the whole thing. It's not even going to be anything else. So, let's get into this video talking about my eyelashes. Okay, so, what the heck? Okay, so I went in to get my eyelashes done. You guys have probably seen, I showed you in that last part, in the first part of this video, which was filmed on Friday. So I got my eyelashes done Friday in the morning and I was kind of excited, kind of nervous, but like excited obviously. And um, so I go and I get my eyelashes done and I am, s first thing, if your eyes are sensitive to light, this is not a smart idea because it'll kill you. And so, good thing it was in the morning and no one else was there yet that had to be actually doing work other than my eyelash lady. Um, I'll also link her Instagram down below and yeah, so you can maybe contact her if you live in the area I live in and get your eyelashes done. She's so good. Anyways, so I went in there, I laid down on the bed. I had, well, I had to like sign my life away pretty much. Um, like that I accept her touching my eyeballs, accept my eyes being closed for an hour and a half, kind of like accept like all the terms and conditions and like my name and my address and like my stuff. And so I lay down first of all, and I'm not wearing pants, I'm wearing shorts. And so I lay down and immediately, it was almost like a switch went off. My eyes started watering so bad. I'm laying down and all of a sudden my eyes start watering and I'm like this is not good like I can't be doing this like she's going to be near my eyeball literally with a, a lash in like 20 seconds and I can't be like watering all over the place and so she she's like oh like what's wrong I was like nothing my eyes are just really sensitive to water and um, to water to light and I can't like stop myself from crying because like it, it just sucks like um, so I lay down again 
after my eyes stop watering and she takes my bottom lashes so that your glue on your top lashes doesn't get stuck to your bottom lashes. Tip number one, that happens. That could happen and that will suck. So I get all that done and then she says, okay, and my eyes start watering again. And so she turns off like the light that was in front of me. That was like the, like the studio light that like was actually like supposed to be on around the studio so that, like they could see what they're doing during their job. And I'm like, oh my God, I think maybe it's this light that's really doing this to my eyeballs. And she goes, oh, maybe you're right, blah, blah, blah. And so she turns it off immediately better. I'm loving it. I'm actually like, I almost fell asleep at one point of this procedure just because it was so, so comfy. So she starts, um, I think I was in the, on the bed for maybe like an hour and a half, maybe less. She went really fast actually. I'll give you a close up. And yeah, so that was my lashes. I got classic. I didn't get the volumes just because I don't think my eyes are so tiny. They're like the smallest part of my head that if I was to get volumes, I'm sure that would just like drown out my whole face. So I got classics. Um, and I kind of really like them. I'm kind of excited. Like I woke up this morning and I didn't really have to do anything. I had to work. So I mean, that kind of doesn't help. So I had to put makeup on, but it's cool to see that like you can wake up and look completely done up as if you're like getting ready to go out the minute you wake up and it was so fun and so awesome. And I'm actually kind of loving it. Um, they're so nice. They're like just long enough that like it looks like something's changed, but like subtle enough that like it looks like people are like, did you get your eyelashes done? And I could be like, no, or I could be like, yeah. So I don't know, that's kind of cool. I actually really like them. I might, I might, I'm, I'm going back on the 30th of December to get them filled. So yeah, if you want eyelash extensions or you've never had them, um, I'm gonna answer some questions about eyelash extensions. Um, do eyelash extensions look fake? I mean, they are fake eyelashes, but if you get the classic set like me, you can, it doesn't really look that fake. It just looks like I have really normal lashes. I fixed my light. Now right here, um, yes, they. I think some of them do. If you get the volume ones, I'm sure you could Google what volume eyelashes look like, or I could put a picture here. I'll do that actually. Um, they look fake because they are definitely most like they're fake. Like you're not born with this. You're going to get a procedure done where they put one eyelash or multiple, which is called a fan of eyelashes on your eyelashes so like they're not real but so yes they like, can look fake but they can also look as natural as your normal lashes if you let them how long do eyelash extensions last um so she said normally every 23 days you come in and get a new like you get a fill so that's what i did today today um i went on the 8th i believe i went on the 8th and uh, she said to come back on the 30th, so a couple days. I don't really know how many days, but they last about two weeks, um, maybe two and a half weeks, depending on how fast your eyelashes grow and how fast your natural like lash cycle is. That's how long or short or fast or short your eyelashes grow. So yeah, how much do eyelash extensions cost? I think they're like for for classics, I think they're around like $100 um, to get your eyelashes put on. And then their fill is, I think, 65 for where I go and what I'm getting. But I think for the volume, which is like the big ones you see in the picture, um, they're like 150 or something like that. And then I think a fill is like $90. I'm not really exactly sure. But it, again, you're getting a completely different look for a lot more money. Um, do eyelash extensions damage my natural lashes? I wouldn't say they damage them because they grow out with each lash cycle. So they might damage the ones that they're attached to, but after, I don't think so. I honestly don't. Um, can I wear mascara with my eyelash extensions? Well, I am not going to, but it says you can. Um, 
like an oil-free mascara, it says. <sighs> but I would not. I'm not going to be wearing mascara with my eyelash extensions. And then can you wear eye makeup with eyelash extensions? Um, yeah, you can. I wore eyeshadow today, but it's kind of rubbed off. Um, I'm not really interested in trying out um, eyeliner just because I'm not too sure if it'll, like how I will take it off without rubbing my eyelash glue off. So yeah, that's some of the questions. Um, but my personal experience, I really liked it. I definitely can't wait to go back and fall asleep again. Um, and my girl was so nice and so funny and we like just talked and had a really good conversation and yeah um, So like I said, I'll link her information down below if you would like to message her on Instagram um, I don't know. I think she's taking new clients. I mean she took me for the first time. So um, I will put her info down below and yeah, so if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys tomorrow Bye, guys.